Lifes co contacted me um, sort of towards November last year and asked me to curate the show for Car Car and Car. Um, I'm a previous La Atelier winner, so Absa was quite familiar with my stuff and had exhibited me um, earlier in the July. And um, it was it's really part of Absa supporting a sustainable art career and giving me an opportunity to do something that I haven't done before and um, and really just to grow me as an artist. It's, it's been incredible. Um, I usually work with statistics and I've been tracking Google for over a year. So in order to make the show a little bit uh, Liberty Batson like and like my influence in it, I asked artists to confess the most 20 Googled stats. So the premise of the show is really um, getting 20 top South African artists to talk about 20 of the most topics that we like most search topics that we are looking to to know, to know the, the info about. I appreciate and I'm so in awe of the artists understanding my brief and really taking it for their own. I really appreciate how honest and vulnerable that they were. I, I specifically asked them not to commit to the project if they couldn't be vulnerable. I really wanted artists to use their voice to talk about and to the things that we don't want to talk about, to share of themselves. Curating it in within the Absa Gallery at, at the space, it was incredible for me to now have lighting, to be a, such an integral part of my show now. I could play with the different wall colours because now I didn't have to rely on natural light. I didn't have to rely watch where, which way videos were placed or um, how lighting was bouncing off, reflecting off work. This work comes from my master's. Um, exhibition from the University of Johannesburg. It is a response to years of putting together work that responds to violence against women and children in our country. I was approached by Liberty to do a confessional and I picked human rights violations. My work's very unapologetic in nature and it really seems to hit your core. I'm aiming to hit people's core and make you think and make you remember and when people do that, or when the work does that, I do find that people have coping mechanisms of putting themselves in spaces where I've got to cope with this work. So they're either it's argumentative or it's in, it's in academia where they, they try to find faults or problems. So it's a safe space. So I realized that at the end of the day, I had to say, well, my work's achieving its goal, but you know, it's, you've got to put on some broad shoulders and be ready for the fact that it's, it's making impacts, it's making waves, it's making people feel. And that for me is the function of art. <laughs>